All right, guys, we've got the top five Champions League moves for you today. We got Sane, Neymar, Mbappe, all your favorites. Let's go. off with our boy Neymar who did a sick nutmeg against Olympiacos. We're going to show you and break it down right now. He was right here in this part of the field when he was stuck. There was a goalie here. He's literally right here. The goal is right here. He's maybe a little bit further back like this. Now the ball kind of came after a shot or something. Kind of settled down right here and now he's stuck. He can't shoot. He can't go this way. The goalie's blocking it. There's a defender coming right at him. So he's got to take the ball back a little bit and figure a way out. And this is exactly what he did. So if the defender is here, the ball's coming right here like this. The defender knows he can't come in too quick and foul him or anything like this. What he does, he takes the ball back and does a nutmeg and then he takes off a shot. He missed, but the whole idea and principle is there. So if you're stuck in here at a complete standstill, especially like this, he takes the ball back to give himself a little bit of room. It didn't matter what type of nutmeg. He could have done that. He could have done two touches like this. He could have done a roll. All he did, the ball came down like this, came here, took it back like this, and then he tried to shoot. So that's all you need to know. You're here to give yourself a little bit more space. He just took the ball back a little bit, and then he went for the nutmeg. That's it. It's a simple thing. You can use it anywhere on the field. It doesn't really matter. But if you remember, give yourself more space, then go for the nutmeg, then accelerate and go. You got the move. So this one is coming from David Neres. Stuck in the corner against Real Madrid. All of you guys have probably seen this. One of the sickest moves. He didn't quite pull it entirely off because he got pushed out the line, but the ball was here. He ran to come get it. I think it was Carvajal. He came to come pressure him. The defender still maybe about there, but because he knows he's pressuring, he knows even like this, even not facing him, this is some sort of half hocus pocus. He did it like that because that's really all he had left. He knows that Carvajal is about to pressure him. So the only thing he can think to do is to get to the ball. Once he's got here and he knows he's coming, he doesn't even turn like that. And now he's off down the line. All right. It's a simple move. If you understand the principle, if you understand why it works, then you can do anything. You could do anything because he did a semi hocus pocus. You could do, you could get here and go like this. All that matters is that all of the momentum, all of the space, all the stuff was there, and all of a sudden, like that, he changes and goes that way. That's all you really need to know. All right, so this one we got here is from our boy Mane, who, of course, is killing it this year. He found himself in this position of the field against Neymar. So a little bit unlucky for Neymar because obviously defending isn't what he does. But nonetheless, it's a sick move that will work anywhere on the field and against anyone if you do it right. So what he had going on is that he grabbed the ball and he came slow. The pressure wasn't really on him. So Neymar came to press him and what ended up happening is that he threw a little bit of a feint as he went to go here, like this, Neymar took the bait and kind of went around him like that. Now, very close, almost identical to the Messi feint, except for one small thing, which most people probably wouldn't notice. Messi doesn't do much of this. He probably doesn't do anything like this, really. You come up to the guy, there and out. It doesn't matter which side, he did it right footed, obviously, so he, he started with the foot dangle. What's important is that if you're running too fast, it's not going to work because that alerts the defender. You don't want him to know what's happening. You just want him to know that you're coming up slowly. As you come in here, all of a sudden he thinks, all right, perfect. You're at a standstill or near standstill. He thinks you're going to take off and you go. That's it. So what we got right now is from Mbappe. 
this one, it's just a little bonus for you, all right? If you have a right back or a left back, somebody who's running around you to try and get there, maybe the, the ball came into you, and you roll it down the line for him, just like that, okay? If the ball comes into you like this, first, you're protecting the ball from the defender who's on this side. Next, you're doing a pass, that's it. Marcelo loves to do this. So watch out for this from Marcelo, from Neymar, from Mbappe. These guys love to do that. It's a little bonus move for you. You're welcome, all right? But the move that we got right now is one that Mbappe did. I cannot remember the name of the team right now. Not important. So Mbappe finds himself on the wing all the time. The defender's right here, and he wants to get space for himself. Well, what he does, step over. He goes in. The guy comes with him. The guy thinks he's gonna stop maybe. He does it again, and he keeps going. By the time he gets down to here, the defender's wondering if he's gonna do it again. He moves a little bit. Now he, this is all open. He's given the defender every reason to believe that he's gonna keep doing step overs down the line until literally Mbappe runs right off the field. And he did it a bunch, and he will do it a bunch because it's always going to work, all right? So if the defender's here, go there, there, and now he's inside. And now he can shoot, now he can score, now he can do whatever. Step over, go. Step over again, go. Stop, go, stop, go. That's what you need to understand. This is another one from Ajax. Many of you guys should know exactly where we're going here. Dusan Tadic. Sick move, sick game from all the Ajax guys. But a move that's definitely going to be in the top five for the year. It's the roulette turn. For me, the guy who does the roulette turn the best isn't Maradona, even though his were sick. It's Zidane. Because of the way he could always receive the ball with this, like a giant circle around him that no one could ever get into. Turn here, come here, turn, turn. The difference between Zidane's roulette and Maradona's is the fact that Maradona did his a lot on the ball because he was agile like that, more agile than Zidane. But Zidane, of course, would do his by putting his foot here first and then dragging it this way. So he had ways of keeping the ball that are just insane. Both of them did, of course. So what Tadic does in this move exactly is Casemiro came in on him. He was dribbling to the field. He bit a little bit Casemiro, and so by doing this, that opened this up when he was able to play a ball in, thread the needle, and they scored. All you need to remember is you can't do this if you're just running straight on. If the defender's here and I try to spin like this, right? And the defender's still here. I haven't done anything. I have to at least go at an angle. If you want to do this roulette turn without anything, you've got to come out at an angle. By going out at an angle, the defender at least comes to guard this angle. I spin off like this, and now you do it. Whether you're right footed or left footed, same thing applies. That's all you need to know. Alright, All right, so what we got now is a little something from Bernardo Silva. Some of you guys probably didn't expect to be on this list. What he did, much different than the Mbappe move, he starts to go inside first. And when he starts to go inside, the defender starts to go with him. He takes it back outside, but what allows him to nutmeg the guy is this little step over here. So he goes inside, outside, step over, as if he's going to go there. The guy bit a little bit. That allowed him to tap it right to the guy's leg and get out. Sick little move. It's something that Cristiano Ronaldo used to do when he played strictly as a winger, and something that you can easily do. Just this little step over. It's like a little feint. It gets you a little space and allows you to now, you can fake inside and go out. You can do all of those things. What it looked like, in, out, step over, nutmeg, and now he's out, all right? So you're not gonna be able to memorize the moves the exact same way that he did them in the game. And that's not the point of the video. The point is for you guys to understand. He comes inside, he goes outside, he fakes outside again, and he can come in. Just to give you guys ideas on what to do, all right? That's it. All right, guys, that's the vid. Like, comment, subscribe. Did you subscribe? Did you subscribe? Do it. <laughs> subscribe right now, okay? All right, check out goldrami.com. Check out our Patreon. Follow us on Instagram. We will see you guys later. Peace.
and kick it, flick it, go the distance. Outside the box, not afraid to be different. Listen, this wheel jump going long, trying to be rich. Hard work pays off.